Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis here with another uh, podcast highlight, uh, spotlighting uh, a different podcast. Uh, uh, I listen to a lot of podcasts, so I thought it would be good to do uh, some shout outs. And I was planning on doing um, the uh, Scarif podcast, and wouldn't you know it, uh, they must have known it was time to send me a card. So it says, Nick, thank you for your continued patronage and support. Here are a few of our new sticker designs. Hope you enjoy. Ro and the rest of the team. Well, thank you, Ro. New uh, Scarif pod st- uh, podcast stickers. And a little uh, Scarif podcast button. So definitely some cool stuff there. Um to add in the button right on there okay so why you can see it there um, so why do I love the Scarif Scuttlebutt podcast well it kind of goes back to some of the history of it it was started by Rowan Brad and uh, it starts with their first podcast there um, at the uh, uh, Star Wars Celebration in Chicago. These two friends, they meet up. They realize they have a love. Ro had been wanting to create a podcast, and so he, he did that. And they constantly are involved in the Star Wars fan community, trying to promote, trying to, uh, whether they like the movies that come out or not, they're trying to be a positive force and uh, get people talking about Star Wars. And uh, they certainly have done that. Of course... Uh, Brad serves in the Navy, so he had to go away for a while. And uh, Alex from the Salty Nerd Podcast came in, co-hosted there for a little bit. And then, of course, uh, Brad came back, had some more amazing episodes, and he had to go again. Uh, now Alex has you know, got Kid 3, and his podcast is booming and growing. And uh, So they brought on Chantel, and Chantel's been a wonderful addition. Um, with the, the Scare of Scuttlebutt podcast, they've had a uh, number of different uh, milestones and changes. They had um, there in uh, the spring of 2020, they launched the Red 5 Network. Now, this was birthed off of uh, some of the conversations they'd had with uh, co opting with other uh, podcasts, bringing other Star Wars podcasts onto their podcasts and doing kind of um, crossovers. And they thought, you know, why don't we band together and make make something great? And so, Ro reaching out to these other podcasts, put it all together, launched the Red Five Network. And uh, I'm, you know, big fan of the Red Five Network. A lot of these podcasts that I'm going to cover, you're going to find a part of the Red Five Network. But just some of the highlights of uh, what I like about. Uh, um, the Scarif Scuttlebutt. Uh, something of note, I think, is their Legacy series. They've done uh, Luke, Leia, The Force, Clone Wars. Uh, just kind of going into these subjects and what is the legacy? What is the impact of that? Um, I really especially like the one that was Balance. This was one that had Ro, Brad, and Alex all on it together. And they really got into some deep stuff talking about the Force and what is true balance in the Force. Uh, getting into to Mortis and um, the Bendu and all that kind of stuff. Really good, deep nerd talk. Um, they had um, the legacy of the Scuttlebutt, their one-year anniversary episode. And there were some funny moments in that one. Uh, they did one of the legacy of collecting and what Star Wars collecting. You know, we've heard so many times Rose's story about going to get... Uh, that uh, that at at um, or as I say at the ATAT Walker, but uh, uh, lost the client because he, he's like I'm going the other way. I'm getting that toy. Um, another one, their Star Wars inspires. They ask the community to share how Star Wars inspires them. Uh, wonderful episodes. They've also had some uh, amazing interviews with some people in the industry. We had uh, from ILM Yoshi and David. And this is really, like, I've interacted with Yoshi now a lot online, but I owe it to the Scare Skittlebutt podcast. That's who introduced me uh, to these individuals and all the work that they do. And uh, they've also had Dominic Pace on. 
And they've had their, their Scarif Con, which Dominic Pace has been going to uh, every year. Uh, outreach, and you know, he plays Gecko the Bounty Hunter on uh, Mandalorian. But really uh, fun, and he's a, he's just a great guy, friend of the Red 5 Network, but uh, always fun to hear his. They've had uh, the writer, uh, novel writer Claudia Gray on to interview. I know Brad especially liked that one. And uh, Steve Sansweet. Um, he uh, has the, the kind of Star Wars uh, memorabilia museum. Uh, so that was a really cool episode, getting him to talk about it, and uh, gave evidence to my wife that, no, I have not gotten too much. That's too much. <laughs> um, other ones that I thought were really good, uh, Propaganda in Star Wars. Brad went real deep on that one. It was a good episode, uh, you know, right up his uh, uh, wheelhouse. Uh, another good topic, social issues in sci-fi, uh, really diving into that topic. Um, they've had a lot of uh, amazing crossovers with other ones. Now, as we mentioned, Alex from the Salty Nerd Podcast co-hosted for a little bit, uh, but they've also had Jedi Temple Archives on. Um, they're one of their first ones with Coruscant Radio Underground, and uh, really they've, they've done a lot with them back and forth. Um, they've had... Um, uh, uh, Rob from the Jedi Temple Archives, uh, the guys from Conversations have cracked it up with the Scuttle Buddies. Uh, so just a lot of amazing uh, uh, things that have come out of this. And of course, the Red 5 Network is born from this. Now, of course, earlier this year, they kind of rebranded. They decided, well, we're not tired of Star Wars, but we want to be able to talk about other things because there's other movies, there's Marvel movies, there's different things going on in Nerdum. We want to talk about them too. So, um, you know, they just, not just Star Wars, they're all nerd topics. With that came their Quick Cut series. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's me, no editing. So they're, they're Quick Cut series, and this is where they take uh, three questions from the fans uh, for topics. And they just kind of do a boom, 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 three quick. And, and these have been fun and have uh, been part of when Chantel came on and really got to see uh, her shine in some of these. So definitely go give the Scarif Scuttlebutt podcast a uh, uh, check out. And remember, it is always sunny as Scarif, uh, except for when it's a little shady. All right. Have a good day. Uh, tell me your favorite Scarif uh, podcast episode, or, or if you have another podcast that uh, you uh, are really into, let me know. Chances are I probably listen to it. All right, have a good day.